Welcome Scorpio, Golden Empress Collection here, and it is time to discuss your August energy. This Aquarian full moon that's at the beginning of August is really calling on you guys to have strength, be committed to worrying less, you know, about some of the things that have been going on in your life, Scorpio. I believe that you are on the same path that a lot of us are on right now, and you are really trying to determine where things um, are supposed to be for you in life. And you're really trying to find that humble spot. I, I do believe that you are seeking that humble spot as well. So let's take a look and see what they want you to know. Please remember the description box below will give you the links and all of the information you need to contact me as well as take a look at our Etsy shop. Okay. All right. There's that moon card. It's that Aquarian moon, I'm telling you. And that's how you're going to begin your month of August here. It's a cycle that you've been going through. You know, it's a past life energy here, but it's faded energy that's going to take you into the Leo. It's something about the Leo energy here. It's going to take you into the beginning of this Leo season, which is around the 5th or so. Um, the moon in Gemini is going to be around the 9th. I think that's going to be something where you need to pay particular attention uh, to something that they are trying to teach you. It's going to require you understanding your emotions a little bit better than what you normally would. Okay, instinct versus uh, actual action. What are your instincts telling you to do? Apparently, it's some sort of spiritual communication. This is going to be your guardian angel watching over you, trying to protect you and offer you something here, Scorpio. Okay. Definitely trying to keep you safe in times of distress with this moon card. If there is any sort of deception or if there's any sort of misunderstanding, you will now be able to alchemize that situation. And I feel like that's going to help. It's really going to help. You have a Cancer here. You also have a Sagittarius um, somebody's coming to grips with how they feel about a Sagittarius. Yes, most definitely now that we have another Cancer card surrounding the Sagittarian energy here. Learning a life lesson, maybe sending a text, maybe saying, you know, hello, maybe not necessarily understanding why something went the way that it did, but being willing to be supportive, balancing out a situation again where the emotions didn't quite feel right or you just thought something was amiss, but then spirit comes in and gives you this whole new message, this whole new opportunity to go on this journey, to go on this path. Yeah, you and your other person are really going through it right now. You really are. Yep. You didn't know which way, to, which way or which direction you wanted to head in and spirit is now providing that for you. You really did not know. Mm -hmm. Look, I like it. See, could be eclipse energy or there's something to do with an eclipse at some point in your life that made you change some sort of plan. There could be something that's um, going to come up. Maybe you're buying a new car or a spirit gives you this new gift. You guys are actually getting a really, really sweet offer for some of you. Okay, Scorpio. And this offer is it's an offer of love. It's an offer of victory. It's an offer of opportunity. You will be moving here, too. Or someone, you are having a conversation with somebody through this Aquarius season. Maybe they're moving in the spring. But you will be finding out that someone is moving in and that is the best choice for this particular person. Could some of you all be finding this out in December? Yes. But it will happen once you really decide to let your emotions go. Once you say, I would rather heal whatever it is that I have going on with my person or my situation then you move into something blessed. You still have not made this decision yet, Scorpio. That's what I feel. You have not made this decision yet and it could be plaguing you just a little bit. But listen, we're going to do one more row. Let's see what they need you to know. Okay. And then normally what we do is we head over into the Vimeo extended link and we determine what spirit needs you to know. We definitely focus on love too. Maybe one more row here for my Scorpios and what they need to know for this August season. Yeah, right here in the middle, you're dealing with a twin flame. That's probably why you're triggered the way that you are. 
you're dealing with a twin flame that you are meant and supposed to love unconditionally here. Some of you, if you have not met this person, you feel drawn to go in a certain direction. It's because you are guided to go and meet this person. Some of you, this is new love. Let's see how this new love ends out here. What's the end up, end all, end all, be all. Look at that. You have a whole divine pair showing up here, Scorpio. So... Somebody admitting the truth to themselves about how they really want this situation to work out. You know, there's a queen and a king. And when you have a situation like this, this is someone's other half. This is someone's better half. This is someone who says, you are the yin to my yang. Can we do this? Is there something that I need to know that will help us to be more successful? Is there something that I need to do to show you that I care and that I love you in the way that I do? Some of you all... There's no reason for any of this deception. It's just the way that the moon in Aquarius is making someone feel. Someone is actually going to be stepping forward. If someone here was at a distance from this particular person, they are now heading in. This is reconciliation. This is a love relationship moving forward and somebody expressing their true feelings here. You know, this is a, a once in a lifetime chance opportunity that becomes successful, that becomes marriage, it becomes commitment. It's two people that are destined and fated to be together. Okay, Scorpio. So I think that as long as you allow some sort of change to come and you realize that it's being divinely guided, you will just, you will flourish in whatever choice it is that you get ready to make here. But it's all about what you choose to manifest. I'm hoping you're choosing to, to manifest choice with all of this solar plexus energy here. I'm hoping that you choose not to allow your emotions run amok and you handle this in a responsible, timely manner. Some of you all, this is an offer of marriage. You know, somebody really determining who they want to be. Some This could be a Sagittarius here finally coming forward to you and saying, this is the person I need. This is the person I love. This is who makes me happy. This is a vibration of success within a relationship, right? But someone has to change. Someone has to go from being what I would consider a page to this king so they can match the vibration of their queen. Will they match the vibration of their queen? I believe so. And I believe that this is going to all be centered around realizations and truth. Somebody might already have a child here. Could potentially possibly be. Hmm. Capricorn child. There might be a discussion about a Capricorn child and the fact that this child is moving or this child is doing something different. Okay. Okay. If there was any sort of toxicity that was happening between you and your person or you and your situation, again, you are changing something. You could be changing jobs here, Scorpio. You could also be realizing that someone who was deceptive towards a Sagittarius was only because of the way that, you know, they thought that they could win over someone. Scorpio, I am a little disturbed by the fact that someone gets angry when they realize that someone is happy and healthy and that someone is divinely guided. I see something here where someone would want to try to cause some sort of toxicity or there's a conversation about toxicity when someone is really happy with the way something is going in their life and someone just has to throw shade. Okay. So and if, if that's the case, Scorpio, if that's the case and somebody's making moves to throw shade here, it's only because they see that someone else is happy and that someone else is getting ready to live their life and, and do the best thing that they can do for themselves. Yeah, it's a relationship. It's, you know, here's the thing. There's someone here that's supposed to meant that's supposed to help someone mend life and help them heal. That's what I believe. They are supposed to help someone heal. They're supposed to help them be successful. I don't understand why someone is so stressed out about a Capricorn energy here. There's a judgmental energy here and it makes somebody, it puts someone in their feelings, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It could be you, but there's something that someone wants to take from someone else and they would be willing to hurt someone. Um, there's a, an underlying question here. It's, there's something about being rejected with this devil energy and the three of swords. Somebody feels like they are not able to move forward the way they want to or make the moves they want because there's someone blocking their path or there's someone 
who someone has a better relationship with. And I almost feel like a black male energy here with this three of swords and the double card. It's almost like one of those things where, well, you give someone the ultimatum, right? As to what it is that they are getting ready to do for you. And if that means if they don't do this for you, then you don't trust this particular person. It's almost like you're trying to manipulate someone or they're trying to manipulate you into doing what you want them to do. Mm-mm. There's a Sagittarius that's in your life that is actually going through a very, very strong lesson when it comes to love and having faith and being able to commit their true emotions and being successful when it comes to a relationship. There might be someone here that is a tad bit angry. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius, or you could have been in a conversation with somebody that revealed that someone was hurt by the fact that they would, you know, harm someone else and possibly make someone feel some type of way mm -hmm. there's an x there's an x that's involved that fell right on top of this king of pentacles and i feel like the only reason this x came out is because there needs to be clear separation before someone can move on there is definitely a choice and there's going to be some sort of words coming up here if somebody ever catches someone in a situation again they're going to make sure that somebody kind of pays for the fact that they're as burdened and hurt as they are scorpio i hate to say this but you definitely have a karmic energy around you that would love to bring some sort of karma in your life I think that the ultimate goal here is for you to recognize how to deal with people that are angry, people that are bitter, you know, people that don't necessarily have your best interest at heart, especially when it comes to you trying to have your new life, you trying to do things that make you feel better. You see what I mean? You've got a third party that's just mad at you. And if they could, you know, tell you about yourself or tell you about the way you're doing things, then yes, they would try to control you and then play the victim here. I do see that very, very clearly. So let's go ahead and go over into the extended Scorpio. Um, remember that the new moon is going to be around the 16th. And then you also have Virgo energy popping up and um, <clears throat> Mercury is going to be going retrograde around the 23rd. Again, that's the same time as the sun's going to be going into um, Virgo. There's also going to be another full moon in Pisces around the 30th. So we'll be well into Virgo energy by then. But get ready because as you start to, you know, learn to handle your emotions, it's going to be into this Libra season where you're really going to see some of this conflict start to pop up. Okay. So again, let's go take a look at the third party and then the love aspect over in the extended. This is for you. Thank you guys for joining me. Peace and elbow grease.